Hey there YouTube. Today I'm doing a video review on these safety post caps. Uh, looks like they're manufactured by CZ Engineering. They're made in the USA and there's the UPC. So I'm just about finished with my first bag. I've been putting up a fence for the better part of a year. Um, and I actually bought these uh, two years ago, now that I think about it, because I had a smaller dog fence that I put these on. And they've been holding up great. They haven't torn through or anything. Um, I actually went and bought another bag of these to finish up this fence. I mean, it's really simple. They're just rubber that goes over the top of the sharp, jagged point here. So if a dog were to try to jump over it, or a horse was going to put its neck down on it, or a kid was going to try to climb it, uh, they won't get cut. You wouldn't want to hook your chin on that if you were a kid trying to climb a fence. So they go on like a little difficult. Uh, I usually have to just wiggle them until they finally go on. Okay, that one went on pretty easy now. Um, that's how they work. They just kind of sit on there. You pretty much don't even notice they're there because they're white. And I'll go show you how they look after a few years of yellowing. So this is one of the older ones that's been installed on a fence post for about two years. Um, it was on another fence post, I took it off uh, and then moved the fence and put it back. So they are pliable. Um, this one actually has formed over time. This one feels like it's like glued on there. Um, just from being on there so long now, a year. Um, they don't really yellow, you can see. You can see actually the fence rubbing on it here. If I pull the fence away, it kind of wore a line into the top of it. And you can actually feel that. So they are soft, but they get the job done. I'll show you how the T-post clip can actually go around this and hold that top of your fence really tight, which is the goal. So there you can see it's really locked on there now. And the top of my fence is like piano wire. Bing. So yeah, I recommend these. I paid $16.99 for a 25 pack. A lot cheaper than an ER visit. Thanks for watching.